few decades ago that Medina Lake was regarded as an angler's dream. Now, fishermen can't even access the nearly dried up lake. As for the fate of the fish themselves, Justin Horn reports that there has been no major fish kill, but still few are left. Worst off, I'd say, maybe throughout all of Texas. That is Medina Lake's harsh reality, a reality that makes it difficult to remember the good times. Randy Myers, an inland fisheries biologist, has followed the reservoir's decline. Historically, the lake offered great fishing. Not only great, but record-breaking. Back in 1943, Medina produced a state record largemouth bass, and that record stood for 20 or 30 years. The lake was once 5,500 acres in size. Now it's down to 660 acres with only a few small pools. It's right along the dam where there still is what resembles a lake, and there still are some fish in here, but they're not the type of fish that once made this lake a destination for anglers. Gar and carp and drum not what fishermen like to target. Gone are the bass, crappie, and catfish. Surprisingly, however, there has been no giant fish kill. It's been a concern, but it hasn't happened. In other words, you won't find dead fish littering the landscape, for which Myers credits a slow drop in lake levels over time. As for those who hope to fish these waters again, not all hope is lost. Should the lake refill to even half capacity, there are plans to restock. We would stock it very heavily with a lot of different species and get it back to uh, what it once was as fast as it, it could. Justin Horn, KSAT 12 News.